Welcome June, our new Border Collie to Raven Tree Ranch. At this point, you're probably wondering how June wound up here. We're going to go over all that, how we acquired her, what her role is going to be here, introducing her to all the livestock guardian dogs, the ranch manager, our cat, all of it. We had an amazing opportunity to acquire June from Hodge Cattle Company. If you're not aware of them, they're absolutely amazing. This is her working in Tennessee at Hodge Cattle Company. She is only six months old and this is her just working off her natural ability. She won't be able to be formally trained until she's about one year, but she comes from great working lines. So we decided to purchase her and add her to the farm. If you don't follow Hodge Cattle Company, you should. They're insanely talented on TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube. Just search them and you'll be able to find them. I have learned so much just from watching them. So as you know, we have our Border Collie, Pete. I think he's going to peek his head in here any moment. This is the second day of her on the farm. You see, we've got her on a long lead because she is very high drive. So she's going to be managed a little bit differently than Pete. Um, so back to Pete, we got Pete um, more to be a all around farm dog. Unfortunately, when we got Pete, um, just a, there he is, just a few months earlier, we had lost our farm dog, Roscoe. There's Roscoe. Roscoe's dearly missed. He's actually the sibling to Daisy. And he was our ride or die, and Roscoe would do everything with us on the farm, literally everything. So when we got Pete, there he is as a puppy, we needed another farm dog and your farm dog's your dog, your ride or die that does everything with you. And we thought, wouldn't it be great if he had a little herding talent? And that's exactly what Pete has, a little herding talent. And you know, Pete rolls deep with the livestock guardian dogs, but at night he was having some FOMO. They're out working and he comes inside and we have our older dog, Sweet Daisy, but she's just not up to entertaining a border collie. And having Pete, it just showed us the potential of really having a high-end border collie that could move our livestock and how beneficial that would be. So when June became available, we jumped on it. And as you can see, they are getting along famously. They absolutely love each other. Pete is kind of putting her on right now that he doesn't wrestle with like a massive 140-ish, who knows how much judge weighs, but massive puppy every morning for like two hours he's giving her the benefit of the doubt right now it's so funny and we have luna inside right now luna cat the ranch manager she is not happy about it but i like to be better safe than sorry and i worry with a new dog is she gonna interpret it wrong so we'll get to that in a little bit um her meeting luna and here she is again on the long lead. She's very interested in getting these sheep and goats in some kind of order because they're just, look at them, they're a hot mess. But again, she's not going to be like Pete. She's not going to be a farm dog and just kind of willy-nilly running about. Um, if she is out with us, she'll have more purpose. And we've got fences on fences on fences at this farm. We love fences. So she will be out. Uh, you know, doing chores with us, but she won't have the kind of freedom Pete has where he's just out. And I have a feeling they're going to gravitate to each other. Yeah. Oh, there's Bo. Bo's like, oh my God, not another one. But he's actually doing good because she's a female. So he's happy that she's a female. And jumping ahead, no, we are not going to breed her with Pete. No way, no how. So I think her and Pete will gravitate more to each other um, and Pete won't be so dependent on the livestock guardian dogs for input. But of course, we're going to keep them all socialized. She'll be around the LGD every day and they'll know each other. They'll, you know, eat around each other because that's very important to us. We don't want any misunderstandings if, you know, she happens to jump out of a fence or something. They're not going to do any damage to her. Now, these are a little more intimidating customers here. Molly and the alpacas are going, who is this? And we're just kind of taking her around the farm. She's a really good, sweet girl. So as soon as Luna Cat establishes her dominance, we're going to let Luna Cat out again, which she's pretty much gotten there. Watch, look, June is like, I'm out of here. 
Look at Luna. She's so mad. But I don't want to have Luna out and feel like she can't come back in until she knows that she has gotten a command over this new pup, June. So I give it a couple more days. June's going to know that Luna rules the roost around here. <laughs> this is what we did with Pete, too, with Luna, and it worked. So, And Daisy's doing great. There she is. This is the front of the house, another little enclosure we have. She likes that June is very respectful and taking Pete away from trying to play with her. The 